The way we engage in a conversation can make it effective as a vehicle for better understanding ourselves, the other person, and whatever we are talking about. We can help create an effective conversation by remembering to ask powerful questions rather than only stating our opinion or telling people what to do. To develop our willingness to step into the less certain conversational space of asking people questions rather than telling them what to do, the quality of our questions becomes crucial. This model presents eight types of powerful questions. Let's look at them individually. A clarifying question can make things more apparent. What do you mean when you say X, Y, Z? Probing can help to get beneath the initial answers. Could you elaborate on that? An evocative question brings memories and emotions to mind. How would you feel if you could achieve that goal? An empowering question can help a person realise their capability to overcome a challenge. If you had the confidence to do that, what would it feel like? A discovery question aims to have the person generate ideas and possibilities. What might some options be? A learning type question helps the other person to reflect on the insights that may come from something they have experienced. What are some things that you might do differently in a situation like this in the future? The challenge type question aims to address directly something in what the other person is saying or not saying that might help them generate insight into themselves and their situation. Where does that thought come from? These can be quite provocative and should be used with care, probably mostly when the other person trusts you. The last of the question types is analytical and systems-based. This type helps the person to step back from the situation and to adopt a bigger picture view. What are the underlying causes of the situation you're describing? Utilising these question types can help advance the conversation. Not every question type is suitable for every conversation. Understanding the effect a question can have on the other person helps in framing good questions. For example, in a bullying situation, empowering questions reminding individuals of their internal resources might be more effective than evocative questions that recall negative emotions. At first, it may be challenging to recall and use the question types in a conversation. With growing confidence, you'll create safe communication spaces and effectively monitor others' emotions and reactions. This empowers you to employ various question types and model philosophies suitable for the conversation's intention, environment, relationship and desired outcome. Remember, there's no single best question, but your aim is to contribute to a genuine, insightful conversation. How do you know if it's working? Over time, you'll find yourself being more intentional in understanding the other person's perspective and constructing powerful questions.